I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. 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 Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. Did you go check the profile? She uh yeah, check the profile. She uh 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 that's how I know he was from uh Philadelphia and I know the other dude from White DC. Okay. She how many friends he had? I ain't look at all that, bro. I ain't I ain't look at all I'm trying to see where they're from, bro, to make sure my shit Okay. That's the word. You so you don't like, you know, you, you never seen a fake account before, like, you know, the the the, the accounts that be having a bad bitch on it. Be a bad bitch on the thumbnail, and then you go look in the pictures, and it's a fucking Chinese dude, or it's a bad bitch, but then you go in the photos, and there's only one fucking picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. That's the word. It's like, dog, I've, I've said this, and I'm going to say it again. This, the other part of the rap trap, is the... The... The anal raping of independent artists. I believe, and I may be just naive, but I've seen it firsthand. I believe that... Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today, we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to The Rap Trap. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too movement. Obviously, and this is, in hindsight, um, today we're talking about, we're actually gonna, uh, be giving an example of the reason why I don't manage artists. I promote, I'm a promoter. Don't manage artists. Um, some of y'all know, some of y'all don't. Um, what I do behind the scenes is promote rappers. Uh, sometimes you might see an artist get on the show or some shit like that, and um, you know, uh, maybe I play his music or some shit like that, but <clears throat> contrary to uh, popular belief, you can only do so much on the internet. What really fucking matters is what you do in the streets. And, it, and I, I was going to say when people aren't looking, but really... People are going to see you out there passing out flyers, out there uh, putting out your CDs and shit like that. Selling CDs, getting the street team together, because um, that's really what you need. And I really need to do a video on that. Um, I have to do a video because there's so many artists that watch this show that have no idea what's supposed to happen um, when you get off the internet. There are a lot of artists who, if they don't got a, you know, if it ain't written out on the internet, they have no idea what the fuck is supposed to be taking place. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Like, you didn't, you didn't went to Distro Kid or TuneCore or CD Baby and uh, got your shit. Uh, they they put it out. But they not promoting the shit. So obviously that shit ain't going no fucking well. It's just on it's like any one of y'all right now can put out hope they won't put them blow this shit down. Any one of y'all right now can put out of course. You can take a video off of your phone and upload it to YouTube. Will it get any views? That's pretty much what DistroKid, CD Baby, and TuneCore does. They're a digital distribution 
platforms pay us $25 a year <laughs> and we'll go through the trouble of putting your shit on YouTube, Spotify, Tidal, so on and so forth. Um, shout out to my nigga, man. I was supposed to hit him up today. Um, I put out a post. Um, I won't speak on that. But after that, after they, you know, pretty much put it out on, uh, uh, so my shit's on Spotify now. No one knows that but you, my nigga. So they all got to get some promotion. So I'm going to get a sponsorship through IG or, or fucking Facebook. No one watches those videos, my nigga. We got good news and we got bad news. Hold on, hold on. But all my... All my habitual donators that always hear their name during the um, AO Nation donation conversation that we do every third Sunday, I salute you before we do anything. Um, to take your hard earn and to put it in something that you fuck with, it motivates me beyond words, period. Love. The good news is this. I'm gonna continue to do the How to Identify Nothing As Bitch series. Of course, you know it's um, an AO Nation exclusive series, so you have to go to patreon.com and become a patron um, in order to watch it. And once you become a patron, you'll be able to see all of the other unreleased episodes that I couldn't put on YouTube Every Monday we go live on the Big Face Podcast channel at 7.30. A lot of y'all be late than a motherfucker, but we go live every Monday at 7.30. Um, if you're a lieutenant, you'll be given the privilege to call in and state your opinion at any point in time during the broadcast. Um, at 6.45, you'll be given a call-in number on your Patreon account, and we just go from there. For all my new people, if you want the uh, Are You Serious t-shirt, it's $15. The Big Facts Podcast t-shirt is $15. The Men 2 t-shirt is $20. And the Big Facts Podcast Scullies are $10. Uh, go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Address, size, color, and what shirt you want. It's time for the bad news. The bad news is... No one watches sponsored videos. So if you're a rapper and you're thinking that I'm going to get an IG sponsorship or I'm going to get a Facebook sponsorship, nobody's watching the shit. So the numbers that they're telling you that you have are bullshit. And you know that bullshit because when you post after you did your sponsorship, your shit plummets. Even when you are running the sponsorship, your fucking YouTube numbers are bullshit. They're bullshit. Stop playing with yourself. Here, on this show, where we do not accept trash music, we do not accept homosexual music, and we don't accept that mumble rap bullshit. The prices for promotion start at $200. They go up to $2,000, depending on how much exposure you want. They start there. So if you don't have $200, there's no reason to come this way. If your music is not up to par, there's no reason to come this way. I explain the packages as soon as you come in and say, hey, I got my budget together with the packages. I'm not putting out no fucking price sheet so you can pass that shit to your fucking homosexual homeboy and send him my fucking way. Ain't no fucking price sheet because everybody can't get on this show. I want to see your motherfucking profile. I want to check see what the fuck I'm fucking with. This show has integrity. That's why we rock the way we rock. But you keep paying that $25, $35 to a fucking sponsorship, which no one sees. They scroll right past it. And you'll be a fucking 50-year-old rapper. And that's just what it is. This shit you gotta be, homie. When someone sees a sponsored video on Facebook, they don't look at it. They scroll past it. I don't give a fuck what that is. And the reason for it, a little bit of, of, of uh, the reason for that is there is no filtering system. Anybody can pay 25 to 100 200 and put a, uh, what do you call that shit, a, a um, 
I don't even know what the fuck they call that shit. It's so fucking stupid. When you start a sponsorship, anybody can start a um. The fuck is the word? A campaign. Anybody can start a campaign. And it could be a hundred dollar campaign, a twenty five dollar campaign. And you put in where you want uh, Facebook to send the shit to, so you can say faith you can say California and New York and shit like that. And what's what it's supposed to do is take your shit and put it on those people's timeline, people from New York and shit like that. That's why the information is so important on Facebook because they can actually pinpoint what a person wants. Now they got some shit on Facebook they about to do, start doing a dating site and off the same thing. I'm not honest on my social media accounts. Like I just, a nigga, shout out to my nigga who uh, wished me happy birthday at like 11.30 uh, the other night. The same night I got pulled over. Um, he said happy birthday. I'm like, oh shit, let me go check the goddamn and I had uh, said, it was September 11th. I said uh, my birthday was September 11th, 1987. Like, I don't I don't see the point in telling them the fucking truth. Like, I'm not on here to, you know, I, I, I damn near don't tell the truth on, you know, job application. Why in the fuck would I tell the truth on this application? Um, but that's how they pinpoint shit and send shit different places. Um, but... They can't force anyone to watch your shit. All they can do is put your video there. And nine times out of ten, the person is not going to watch that fucking video. When it says sponsored, to be honest with you, my nigga, you would be better off if it didn't say sponsored. If they thought you were just another person on their timeline. But because it says sponsored, oh, I know I don't want to see that shit. It's probably some lame-ass rapper. And like I said, the... Part, the partial reason for that is because there's no filtering system. Motherfuckers are so fucking garbage. So garbage. You can pay your fucking money and get on there. There's no fucking... So the most trash artists and the best artists can be on that motherfucker. But nigga, I'm not no motherfucking... You know, I'm not looking for no fucking artists. Nigga, I'm straight. Nigga, if I don't hear you on a platform that I respect, fuck you. It's too many rappers anyway. Like, people do not like, they have a negative attitude towards independent artists. It's kind of like they feel like, nigga, if you were that good, you would be successful. So you must not be that good. Then on top of that, they feel like, nigga, I'm not with helping no artists get off the ground. Nigga, how at me when you get famous, nigga? Then, then I'll fuck with you. And it, it makes no sense, obviously, but they don't have to make sense. They're fans. They're consumers. What you have to do is put yourself in the right spot. Okay, they don't respect these campaigns I'm putting out. How in the fuck do I get them to listen to my music? That's why I tell rappers, I don't listen to music for free. My nigga, you can't get your, the people you love to listen to your shit for free. How in the fuck am I going to listen to it? Like, my nigga... And the people that you do, that, that will, that you force to listen to your music, they're not going to tell you the truth. Because nobody wants, like, they don't, they don't owe you the truth. They don't owe you the truth. They're going to say, oh, that's just good. Uh, and walk off. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good, man, it's good. They don't want to put the, the effort into saying, well, you know, actually, I think you got too much reverb on there. And on your ad libs, he has them turned up so fucking loud. Is um, what what beat program did your producer use? You know, they're not gonna run down. No, it's easier to say, oh yeah, that shit good, man, and get the fuck out of there. So, you, you independent artists, your biggest issue is first off, you don't know how to choose who the fuck to listen to, and second off, you. Fuck it, this it, it, just gonna be, I, I was supposed to be making a stallion video, but this, this is gonna be the, uh, that video. <clears throat> you think that, all right, Facebook, oh, uh, this big Facebook, oh, look how big, uh, Instagram, look how, YouTube, look how big it is. Of course, they're gonna know how to promote. 
of course they're gonna know how to market. They're gonna mark uh, so when they say uh whatever they're saying, so I'm sure I can look that shit up. Let's fucking do it, man. Fuck uh, it, I I've been I've been it's been I, I, it's been overdue for me to do this fucking video. At the end of the day, because I, I, I can't find the shit. Because there's no filtering of who the fuck is going to be on that sponsor shit, no one takes it seriously. What? And if a person does hit your shit, if they do hit They hit your shit and then as they're going, they're seeing that you don't have shit going on. You got 40, uh, and this is most of y'all's situation, 47 views on your YouTube video. Or you, you think you're smart and you'll goddamn get a bot and shoot them numbers up. Like a person can't tell, well, this video has goddamn 5,000 views. Uh, but the, the other video has 47 views. And the video that has 5,000 views only has five comments. Everybody's up on game, dog. Nobody's blind to fucking bots anymore. So everyone knows what the fuck it is. But that's what you artists that are scared to go outside and pass out flyers that don't have the heart really to be an artist, this is what you have to do. You go on, you look at some of these fucking, these people who sponsor in their video, it's like, I know that this motherfucker will never come out the house. Never. And you'll have these motherfuckers posting their numbers like, oh yeah, I, I got 40,000 uh, uh, 40, streams and shit like that. As if I haven't already posted and shown that streams can be bought. Nipsey posted it. At, at some point, dog, you're going to have to make a decision. Like, are you actually trying to succeed and make money out this rap shit? Or are you just, like, doing some shit? Because if you honestly trying to make some shit snap, why the fuck are you doing this shit that obviously doesn't work? You've tried the sponsor shit on multiple fucking songs, multiple videos. Nothing popped off. You got the numbers on that post. You got damn near uh, 50,000 uh, views on that post on Instagram or uh, 100,000 views on Facebook, but your next post only gets 30 views. Your next post on Instagram only get 12 likes. It, it, it's so pitiful that you can actually go through a person's uh, profile on Instagram uh, and Facebook, on, on Facebook, it, it's kind of, I guess, it, it's kind of, it's not really that hard to tell, but I like Instagram better because it's just right there in your face. You can see what the fuck going on. Go on Instagram, and you'll see, and you'll be able to tell which video that they sponsor. They'll have, uh, they regular shit is like 30 views, 30 views, 12 like, 12 like. Then you got one that got 28,000 views, 100 likes. 12 comments or some shit like that. Then it just go down, keep going down. It's like, dog, it's proving to you that it doesn't work. You go through, you got 28,000 on this video, rest of them regular, 30 views, 30 views. Then you got uh, 10,000 on this one, regular, regular, regular. Uh, go keep going down. Now you got 70,000 on this one. It's like, dog, if if the shit worked, then the first time that you got 70,000, the shit would have at least took your shit up. You go from 70,000 to 10,000 to 20,000, but the, the real numbers in between are still the same. You still got uh, 30 views, 12 likes, uh, 10 views, 10 likes, or uh, 2 likes. Like, it's still little bullshit. It did not grow. Because you, you can say, um, well, when I started, I was only getting... Um, five likes and 20 views. Uh, then when I did the uh, sponsorship, I got 70,000. Then the next post I made after that 70,000, I was getting uh, 100 views and 20 likes. Then I, when I got that 10,000, I went to uh, five 
500 views and, and you know what I'm saying, like it kept on rising. It's not even doing that shit. Y'all shit is so sporadic that you will start at, you know, 20, uh, 20 views and five likes. Do your, your uh, sponsor some shit, get 70,000 views, and when you get all the way up here to your last post, nigga, you'll damn near have uh, 10 views, three likes. Like you going backwards. How in the fuck did that happen? Of course, I'm talking about, you know, because you got to let time pass and shit like that. It, of course, that's your most recent. But I'm saying that it's obvious that the shit doesn't work. They're scamming you. They're scamming you. That little twenty-five dollars and and, and uh, uh, give them uh, give them a budget, a hundred-dollar budget. So that means that uh, they're gonna spend a hundred dollars uh, throughout seven days, and they'll put it here and put it there for seven days. You'll be sponsored and shit like that. It's like, but you're not. You're putting it in different places and shit like that. You know that you don't actually have to be seeing your sponsor video on your timeline for for it to be for them to be actually promoting it you trust them you trust them that as i'm putting this money in you posting that shit all over the world i i i believe you're doing that to the point where all they have to do to prove that shit to you is give you they're shooting you numbers regardless because they want you to come back and spend with them they're not going to allow you have this hundred dollar budget in here and you come out this shit losing they're not going to show you well shit nobody fuck with you they don't shoot that sh they're going to shoot your numbers up so you keep on spending like come on my nigga but in order for them to make you prove it, so when someone like me tell you it's a scam, you say, oh, no, it ain't no scam, because I got somebody, I put that shit in Philadelphia and Washington, D.C., and uh, I got I got uh, messages from people from D.C. and Philadelphia. They in my inbox ask me, uh, 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 what's good with me, man? Or I got somebody, I, it's a dude from Philadelphia who liked my post. Because they, actually, I, I, I gave you too much credit on that Washington, D.C. shit, nigga, in your inbox. No, I got a uh, dude from uh, uh, D.C. and Philadelphia coming on my post, so I know it's real. Okay, that's the word. Did you go check the profile? She, uh, yeah, I checked the profile. She, uh, 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 that's how I know he was from uh, Philadelphia, and I know the other dude from Washington, D.C. Okay, she, how many friends he had? I ain't look at all that, bro. I ain't, I ain't looking at all that. I'm trying to see where they're from, bro. To make sure my shit. Okay. That's the word. You, so you don't, like, you know, you, you never seen a fake account before? Like, you know, the, 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 the accounts that be having a bad bitch on it, be a bad bitch on the thumbnail, and then you go look in the pictures and it's a fucking Chinese dude, or it's a bad bitch, but then you go in the photos and it's only one fucking picture? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that's the word. It's like, dog, I've, I've said this and I'm going to say it again. This, the other part of the rap trap, is the, the, the anal raping of independent artists. I believe, and I may be just naive, but I've seen it firsthand. I believe that a big piece of this industry, this music industry, is fucking funded by the artists outside of it that are trying to get in. Yes, there are people who scam the fuck out you. Yes, um, there's a, there, there'll be a promoter and there'll be a manager and somebody who take the money, an accountant. A, a promoter's gonna tell you he can do something, but he won't do the shit. Yes, those people are there. But that is for you. Because, I mean, that's not really a, a good enough reason to say, uh, nah, nah, nah. Because, nigga, you've been robbed before. Somebody done sold you fake dope before. But that ain't stop you. So come on with that shit. The point is, once you find a nigga, once you've been around somebody 
who's trying to make it into this music industry and you see what they put into this shit and you just multiply that shit by all these motherfuckers that's trying to rap. My nigga, please. If, and, and like we, we talked to, um, shout out to Fletcher. He got his money and shit like that. And I heard he gave uh, the dude who contacted me, he gave him 100000 just for the love. But Fletcher's the dude who sued your got it. But he was talking about putting a $100,000, what was it, like a $100,000 budget into his press run. That's enough. Once, once you get used, once you get used to being isolated and, and, and by yourself, company, you know, people kind of, you know, it just the things that just normally they may do is just buy. And why you sitting like that? You know what I'm saying? Why, why you got that cup like that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why you watch dishes like this, anything? You know what I'm saying? But the, the bottom line of this whole thing is the ways in which you niggas will allow yourself to be scammed. It's like, all right, when I was when I was promoting, I started promoting at 25 when Lil Yachty came out. When you walk up, when you get to an artist, uh, every, you know, everything matters. It, it's that, that whole artist-promoter relationship, everything matters. How y'all met, what you have on when y'all met, what car were you driving, because as a promoter, you have to you have to give the um, the imagery of uh, you having your shit together. I can't. There's no way that a, that a um, the artist that's trying to um, find his way through this maze. Is going to give his money to someone who doesn't look like they are, like they know more than he does. Like nigga, you look like you more lost to me in this motherfucking maze. How in the fuck is you gonna goddamn get me through here? You know what I'm saying? So that's where, you know, being able to dress come in, but not. You have to know what the fuck you're doing. Like for me, for me to be out there wearing a fucking suit. Um, it just looks disingenuous. So I do me to the best. You know what I'm saying? And and a nigga can see it. Nigga can see that nigga got together. I after that, you start telling a nigga, you know what it is, what it ain't. You know, like you're. Just through the way your vocabulary, you're you're showing him that you know what you're doing here. Like, no, like this ain't no you not no um, you're not no foreigner to this shit. Like you know what the fuck is going on. But even with all of that, you having all your shit together, a nigga will look at you and say, "Oh yeah, nah, I'm I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm just trying. I'm probably just gonna have to, you know what I mean?" But Facebook and Instagram. They'll run to them and shoot them whatever the fuck. They'll just keep peeling them off without it working. And they show that they don't work. A nigga wouldn't even give a black promoter a chance. Yes, you hear stories about, and I wish that you niggas would stop doing that, but it's a part of the game. And that's why, that's why it's so important, and it always was, it's important to have your shit together. If you're gonna be a behind the scene person in this game, manager account, or not even account, but manager, promoter, CEO, whatever the fuck, if you're gonna be in that position in in the beginning, you're gonna have to go out and seek out artists. And even when you get up there, you're gonna have to seek out artists. But once you get at a high high level, you'll be able to send like Jay Z don't have to go out there and actually, you know, he'll send somebody a that Jay-Z want to talk to you type shit. But you need to have your shit together to where like now if I if I talk to an artist now, it's not that I don't have to do that much 
when artists, you sometimes you'll get an artist who say, "Hey man, could you uh, could you talk to my uh, my manager?" My first thing is, you got a manager with the views that you you got a manager. But of course, we're not talking. We don't know. You know, we don't know. Thing. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with it, man. I'm with it. Hey, could you uh, uh, I want you to uh, tell my manager uh, what what the packages were. And she, and it's like. I think I did that one time, and what happens with that is that there in there there will be a miscommunication. I need to talk to the person that has the money, but back off that. I don't have to do the talk like man, you you can get this, you can get that, man, you just, man, this can mm 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 mm. You see what I've done? You see what I've built right here? The only question is, do you feel like this audience is an audience that will be able to accept or receive what it is that you're putting out there? Because if yo, if if I can't, I can't do anything past. Give you to them, give you to the people. I can't do nothing but put you on the platform. I can't. And this is why promotion is such a fickle thing. There are no guarantees in promotion. Just like when you pay that $100 budget to fucking uh, Facebook or Instagram, they can't guarantee you anything but visibility. That's what they're supposed to give you is visibility. But guarantee. This is how you know it's a scam. Guaranteed. Every time you go into that motherfucker, your shit goes up. That's how you know it's a fucking scam. That's not how promotion works. That's not how it works. Sometimes you're going to go out this motherfucker and ain't no fish going to fucking bite. That's what you learn from being put on the ground, passing out flyers with a fucking towel on your shoulder because it's hot as fuck out this motherfucker. Passing out flies in the cold, knowing how to read a motherfucker. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go give him one, but she looked like she had a bad day. He, you know what I'm saying? Like, I shouldn't walk up like that. Uh, coming out this motherfucker with a big ass bag of flyers at 19, with a big ass bag of flyers. Then coming the next week with a big ass bag of fucking duffel bag of fucking CDs at four o'clock in the morning. It's and I wanna actually, I wanna uh. I don't even know if I should shout this nigga out because I don't think he uh, showed me no love. I think that he he kind of, and I don't even think I like this nigga, so I won't shout him out. Um, but it's a lot of ways that um, that you can prove, dog. As far as I tell you, like if all you want, which I believe is a good start, starting at home, if all you, which signing so on word it like that, if all you want. But what I can guarantee, I can guarantee you, and remember I said there's no guarantees in promotion, I can guarantee you that you're a local celebrity. Celebrity don't mean that, you know, Marilyn Manson's a F Marilyn Manson. Uh, is that his name? Manson, uh, Charles Manson. He's a fucking uh, celebrity. So I can guarantee you I can turn you into a hood celebrity. You know what I'm saying? All, Cause I always knew all I really need to do for you is make it to where people know that you exist. People know what you, and once I establish that, you'll be off to the races because I made a post the other night and uh, Without knowing, one of my one of my people who who attended my uh, YouTube class actually um, uh, gas team two five one. He actually went viral on a uh, story that he did the O uh, five one Melly story. He actually went viral on that because of the lessons that I taught, but because he was consistent and you know I made a post saying for all you artists all you rappers that are waiting until people are paying you attention to be consistent 
you might as well get your twit card because it's not going to work for you. So what I was saying was, dog, if you aren't consistent because no one's watching you, but you will be consistent once people are watching, you're never going to get that audience. You have to be consistent to get the audience in the first place. If you're waiting to get an audience for you to start posting every day, going out here every day, doing something, something for, that people can see every day that is pertaining to your rap career. This is the thing that you are expecting to change your whole life for the better. The thing that you are expecting to get you everything and more, you won't even give it a, a fucking full, consistent week. Seven days. Seven days. You can't do something for seven days. Whether it be posting a video on YouTube, whether it be posting a freestyle, and not just posting it because you niggas is fucking retarded. If you think that I'm just going to post this shit to YouTube, I'm just going to put this shit on Distro Kid. Nobody's watching it. It's so many of you niggas that have, uh, to, yeah, my, my project come out on the, on the 31st. Nigga, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, it's coming out on District Kids. It's going to be on all platforms. What the fuck does that mean? Nobody even knows your name. You think your project matters? What What are you doing different on this project than you did last project? Last project you did, it flopped. Nobody gave a fuck about it. What are you going to do this project different? Oh, shit, last time, you know, shit, I only put out uh, three videos. This time, I got, I got a whole new videographer. My nigga, how, how many how many views did your last video get? How many views did your last two videos get? Oh shit, you know shit. It, uh uh, shit. I, I did good on uh on Facebook. You know I had uh, you know a couple hundred on Facebook and shit like that. But uh uh on YouTube, man. Uh you know I wouldn't even push my YouTube. You know I, I wouldn't even worry about YouTube, man. You know YouTube, that ain't that ain't what I really, You know I ain't really tripping on YouTube, man. You know I ain't really tripping on that shit, man. Uh. Uh, I, but you know, on Facebook, but my stream, man, I got, man, shit, my stream, shit, my stream, shit, uh, I did like 50,000 stream, I am did 50,000 stream last time, so, but I'm asking you, how many views did you get on YouTube? Oh, shout out, man, I don't even think that shit even really did, but, you know, about, about 15 views, but I don't think that, you know, that ain't real. All right, so you're telling me that you have an album that's gone over viral. But not even 15 people came to see the video of any of these songs on this album. You have an album that's booming and fucking bucking, and you tell my, and you're telling me that no one wants to see the visuals, no one's seeking you out. Do you believe that? Oh no, shit, you know, I don't really do this rap shit, bro. I don't, I don't even really fuck this rap shit for real, bro. See, I'm just doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I can get my street, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm a street nigga, bro. I'm a street nigga, bro. I don't really, I don't really fuck this rap shit like that for real anyway, bro. I'm just, I'm just you know, just doing some shit, bro. Because I'm just doing this shit. I got talent, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. But you paid Facebook to to put a campaign in, in to, to put out your... Oh yeah, shit, you know that that wasn't really nothing, bro. That, that was just shit. It, it wasn't nothing but a hundred dollars, so shit, I just, you know what I'm saying? I just I just you know shot it whatever like that, just trying to see what they're gonna do. My nigga You You've done this shit four times. You ran at least four campaigns. Oh yeah, shit, you uh um shit. Yeah, cause I, I ain't do it right the first three times. So the last time I did it, but I wasn't really tripping though. Like, it, it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's so much bullshit. It's like, you're doing the shit wrong. You know you're doing it wrong. You're embarrassed about your results. Yet, when someone comes to you, you know what it is, though? It's because, usually, you talk to people that don't give a fuck. So, they're not going to go against anything that you say. You, you're giving them the blunt to smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're they not trying to fucking tell you what's real because if they tell you what's real, they might not, you know what I'm saying, get what they want about you. And so now, 
now when someone actually talks to you like hey you know they ain't oh uh instead of being like my nigga shit i've i've, I've been wanting the same thing I, like i don't know how to do it you know something no that ain't what you do and that's really how i test people um when an artist comes to me um I'm I'm not just checking for your I'm not just checking for your music and and make sure that you know you ain't been in no no bullshit you know trying to I try to do a little bit of snooping just to make sure ain't no pictures on this page with no dudes kissing or you know nigga saying some shit that a nigga shouldn't you know what I'm saying like, I'm trying to make sure you're not one of them boot gang ass niggas. And so it don't reflect on me because I don't, like, <laughs> I'm learning that this internet shit is something else. Niggas will try to tie you in different ways. So, when I show you the things that aren't going, that aren't being done right, your response is extremely important. If you like, oh no, shit, oh, you know, uh, it's like, oh yeah, I'm good on that. But if you're, and you know, this, this is, to be honest with you, and this is no, because I don't give, you know, niggas no promotion. I, 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 I don't, you know, I don't give a fuck. You know, it's two hundred dollars, three hundred. I'm not going to sell my soul for that, is what I'm saying. I had a guy just yesterday. Kind of get a, you know, get a sly way attitude when I, when I, when I talk to him about the similarity of his music and you know like the Migos like this shit sounds like mumble rap a little bit you know what I'm saying like so hey this this song right here like you were going for like the offset thing you got anything else that uh maybe we could run with you know because this, this kind of you know it's jumping a little bit a little bit you know a little uh it's like a bounce I ain't say just mumble rap like sound kind of you know bouncy you don't you don't uh you don't got like your YouTube I can find something else Oh shit, I was trying to run with that shit. It, it damn sure, it don't sound like, uh, it don't sound like no, uh, Migo, bro. Oh, no, that's my own style, bro. Uh, that's my own. Like, right. oh, okay, that's the work. Let me, uh, let me see what's going on. Get the fuck off the phone. I, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Like, I don't, I don't really have the, um, I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something here. Like something that can actually, at the end of the day, we say like, this is where a lot of artists got their start. They got their start there. So, if I'm talking like, and I have, I don't, I don't know how many years of fucking experience in this rap shit, and obviously, if you're coming to me and you got my number. And we're talking on the phone. You should know who the fuck you're talking to. Um, I tell you something and you ain't, you know, you're not receptive. And I'm trying to tell it to you the soft way. No, I can't do that. And the music is not what the fuck is supposed. Like, nigga, if you're doing the bubble, the bubble, the bubble, the shit, the 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 If you're doing that shit right there, you're not going nowhere because it's just going to be blended in with the rest of the shit. Blend it in with the rest of the shit. If you're doing your own J. Cole rendition, it's not going nowhere. Even after you put the promotion on it, the right promotion on it, it's not going no fucking where. A lot of you artists, the big thing, the big thing, a lot of y'all are on drugs. And you know that you're allowing the drugs way more respect than you are your dream. A lot of y'all really love music. You really do love what you're doing. You really do believe that you have a shot at making it. But 
you got that habit. <clears throat> Trust me, I know I know you have a habit. And you look at this. If you would give this music shit what you give that dope, meaning when it comes to that dope, nigga, you gon' make this work, make that, uh, uh, call this person, get over there, you, you'll put some shit together to make sure that you get that dope every day. Every day, you're gonna make sure that you get some type, like, you gonna make sure that that happens. Hold on. Now, that, and it's hindrance, see, so, dog, it, it's a lot of shit. You know, once you give up the dope, you're gonna see a lot of shit clear, but, as far as with the um with the power and everything that you give that dope hold on matter of fact don't hold on I'm gonna uh listen You're not going to get shit for cheap. You're not going to get shit for free. If you don't know, if you've been doing this shit for six months, of course, you know, and I, I'm not talking about rap for six months, but if for six months you've been, oh, I'm going to drop this project. And it, you know, you've been actually trying to make some happen for six months and nothing's came of it. Six months. Nothing's came, really, to be honest with you, it's just two months. You can tell whether or not you know what you're doing in two months. You need to go and find someone who knows what the fuck they're doing. I don't know exactly what, it, it's an advisor, it's an advisor, and I feel like you have to be very careful with who you allow to be your advisor. Um, because it's some people out here who talk, like they all, they, they got the book, yeah, with, with, with a contract, with a non-disclosure contract, you can uh, opt out with the pregatory and you can, they'll know all the words and all the jargon, but these motherfuckers don't know shit about promoting. They don't know how to get an artist to the next level. I, to be honest, yes, a person can know a lot of shit. A person can know a lot of shit um, without actually having shit to show for it. You know what I'm saying? Because before, you know, my channel went anywhere, I, but I was showing and proving though. I was showing and proving. Um, I had, you know, you can see what the fuck I was doing, but my numbers weren't there yet. So a person might, you know, oh, you don't know what the fuck you talking about, but I, the, the same ideas I had in my head are the same ideas that I used to get my channel where it's at. And, Artists may feel like that too, but it, it's, it's, it's crazy as fuck. At the end of the day, you need someone, uh, uh, um, you need someone who can tell you what you need to be doing. And a promoter, maybe you don't want to start with a promoter because the promoter is the one who's trying to get the money from you. Um, you just want. But I'm gonna be honest, like a promoter. But see, promoters, a lot of these promoters, they promote clubs, and the promoter I'm talking about is they actually, I'm talking actually are in the street and they promote artists. But they're they're gonna charge a lot because they these are the promoters to the stars. These are the people that the managers go through, the labels go through. A lot of times but you need somebody local so what I would tell you is first thing I can't even tell you to get with the fucking DJs because a lot of these DJs the club DJ don't know what the fuck they doing I'm trying to tell you somebody other than me you know but at the same time if you're watching this video that mean that you have access to me so that's all I can really because I don't trust anybody else if you are doing this music shit and you don't, if you haven't seen any results, hit me up. 
I'll do this. I'll do this right here. Just because I, I got to feel tired of the bullshit. If you serious about this music shit and you tired of fucking failing and you want to know what to do and what not to do because that, that knowledge there is worth at least eight months. Like time is money and, and let's talk about how fucking really time is far more valuable than money. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do consultations for $20 an hour for artists. For all the people who, uh, like the men, two people and stuff like that, those prices are still $50 an hour. But for artists, uh, songwriters, managers, anybody who has questions about music, I am going to, for the whole month of September, I'm going to do this. If you have a question that, like, that you need to know what the fuck is going on and you just lost, you don't, you've been failing, or you don't want to fail, $20 an hour, that's the best I can do. I, I got too much shit I got to do to say anything less. $20 an hour, we'll do the consultation. You're going to leave with something that you can use. Because I can't give everything here because I, it's, I, can, I can rant and rave about it, but... Dog, because I see people online, uh, yeah, you know, you, you're going forward without a, uh, without a, uh, without a, um, a, um, a fucking, uh, uh, the contract was fucked up, man. It just was bullshit going forward. Dog, most of y'all, that advice ain't gonna help you work a fuck. Most of y'all are trying to get from 12 views to 100 views on YouTube. I'll give you that here. YouTube is the only platform that really matters real views on YouTube. Labels, everybody can tell whether or not the views are real. So if you feel like, oh yeah, I just advertise through YouTube and uh, yeah, so I don't know what they deal with the money. I just, I just advertise through YouTube. Like, I don't be dealing with that. So I just, I just know I just pay them. My nigga, you just pay for your views. If you want a real audience, you want real exposure, you have to, obviously you have to fuck with the Big Fast Podcast platform. Uh, Cause I, I tell people, if Charlemagne the God shouted you out tomorrow morning, by tomorrow evening, you'll be on. You'll be on. You in there. Because it's a place where people don't, like this don't happen all the time. It doesn't happen all the time. His word means something. They don't, they don't, this uh, rapper, 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 no, this, this show is not about rappers. Uh, if it is about rappers, it's about famous rappers, and you know what I'm saying? It, it means something here. So that's what you need. You need influence. This is another. I'm gonna give you this one too. It would profit you more to pay a somebody on Instagram that got twenty thousand followers than it would be to do a sponsored video because those views from that. And I would, I'm telling you, dog, to be honest with you, if you do fuck with an influencer, I would not fuck with an influencer who fuck with a lot of fucking people. If if their audience, if their followers are used to the influencer promoting artists, I wouldn't fuck with it. That's the same thing with Say Cheese. It's the same thing with a lot of these uh, pages that promote, like, that's why World Star don't mean shit. Nobody goes to fucking World Star. But you will have an artist that has 800,000 fucking views on Worldstar, but you go to his YouTube and he don't got 20 fucking views. It's fake. You, there's not going to be that big of a fucking deficit. I don't need to know about your numbers here, here, and here if your numbers right here are showing. No, nah, that ain't it. That's not it. That's bullshit. I mean, I can look at the comments. That, that's what's really going to matter. Like the comments. Oh, yeah, this nigga... No, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? But those are things that you might not know. Maybe you don't know about the view by thousand views, hundred views. Like, there are things about this game in 2019 that if you're trying to make something happen, you need to know. And somebody sitting down in a fucking desk or whatever kind of platform they have telling you some shit, but ain't got nothing behind the shit that, like, nigga... Use your common sense. I, I do see a lot of that shit, dog. These motherfuckers on this bitch. 
you know, acting like they fucking, you know, know some shit. You motherfuckers ain't gonna get down with they boots in the motherfucking dirt, man. And they don't got a platform to fucking promote you. Even though that don't matter, you don't have to have a platform to promote nobody in order to know how to get someone exposure. But, man, a lot of these motherfuckers, man, just be, it, they be talking and it kind of bother me because it's like, my nigga, no, nah, like, and I know I can't, I just know if I can't see you out there in the field, if I can't see, shout out to my nigga for making it magazine. I keep forgetting that nigga name. Shout out to my nigga for making it magazine. I can tell that that nigga has been out there in the fucking field. I paid that nigga for a fucking consultation. Because I wanted to learn about streams. That's why I say, if, if, it's, if you tell I'm actually making you a celebrity in your uh, fucking, uh, your surroundings, and that's what you need. That's, I, I think I ain't finished that point about waiting to be consistent until you have an audience. Um, you need to be consistent in order to get your audience. But um, what will happen once a good promoter makes you a factor in your immediate surroundings, what you'll do is step up your efforts because everywhere you go, hey man, when the next project coming out? Hey man, when the, that's how they know you. They know you from rapping. And that's really what matters. And that shit, doing that, getting you hot in your own area, that shit can't be done with no fucking consultation with a motherfucker who don't know what the fuck they're doing. They have to be able to tell you how to go here, how to go there, how to peep and see the scene. What audience do you want? Do you want the surfers or you want the street niggas? If you want the surfers, you need to go to the beach. If you want the street niggas, you need to go to the Arab store. And it's a certain way you need to go up that bitch. You know what I'm saying? This the shit that matter. And it's gonna have to be paid for. If you don't wanna go out there and pass out flyers, somebody gonna have to do that shit. All that putting that shit on folks' window and shit like that, no. They gonna throw this shit, just like they do the sponsored video. They not gonna look at it. Sponsored videos are like fucking flyers in the fucking, uh, in your windshield when you get out the club. I don't want this shit. These motherfuckers don't even know me. Whoever put this shit in, this shit for anybody. It ain't even filtered. This ain't, ain't for me. But when somebody walk up to you with a flyer and they make you remember them, like, what's going on with you been home? Shit, that's, that's what I know. You know what going You know, just speaking to a motherfucker. Make it personable. Have a human interaction. But a lot of you motherfuckers is scared of people. Uh, I'm just too street for that shit, bro. I'm too street for that shit, bro. I ain't with all that, that people shit, bro. I ain't no friendly ass nigga. Shout out to my nigga Possum. <laughs> so my nigga Possum, uh, me and Possum was talking and shit like that. He said, somebody got to be friendly. He, whether the manager or the motherfucking, uh, uh, the goddamn, the uh, man coming in the door, somebody got to be goddamn friendly. Now, he got, he go the dog go barking. Get the shit together, y'all. This nigga just threw me all the way the fuck off. He done threw me off. 